Everybody's a kung fu fighting and lobbing heads off and chopping them in off and generally getting their badass on. Welcome to Within the Blade Review. Slice up that like and subscribe button if you want more and come join us in our Discord. Link below. Now let's get our slashy on with the gameplay. And so, Within the Blade is a samurai-like platformer that's also a little bit of a puzzle-ish type game. The game's set up into levels and sub-levels, and you'll be platforming and slicing and dicing all enemies, as well as later on you'll be rescuing captives, avoiding environmental traps and um, pitfalls. <laughs> if you know what I mean, and <laughs> search for keys and also chests for items and coinage. And you can do this either by trying to speed run the whole thing by trying to avoid as much as you can or stealthily. Get your stealth on and move slowly through the grass until you eventually pop up and perform a stealth kill on the enemy dealing mega damage and you know slicing it in half and all that lot and add to all of this the game even has like objectives you know get to the end of the level without being seen too many times kill all enemies and things like that and you get rewarded for doing as many as you can by extra coinage and the like at the end of the levels now then if that all sounds good to you well i have more yes more as well as moving around your character can also use items smoke bombs and shurikens and a grappling hook among a few and these can be used to move around and also help with eliminating enemies as you can also hook enemies like a certain other character from a certain other franchise get over here maybe a little bit of a hint but you get where i'm going with that and also a well-aimed bomb at an enemy explodes them in a satisfactory well explosion with blood and claret heading in all directions. And there's even points you can earn that you can actually use with your master and put up and actually gain skills such as more health or be the ability to make weapons and the like and perform other moves. And the ability tree seems quite wide and varied and there seems to be quite an actual few different things you can unlock with it as well as bringing it up when you're actually in game and seeing what exactly you've got and what it does another thing talking to your master does is actually tells you things about the story which isn't exactly the best story i've ever seen but I think if you don't go there to speak to him, you'll probably miss the story altogether like I almost did. What? You, you want more as well? Oh, okay, okay. Wow, you're getting your money's worth here, aren't you? So, between levels, you get to come to this town as well. This sort of a hub, if you like. And you can talk to townspeople, interact with them, and buy items and ingredients from them as well. And please, please do look around these areas as there are some hidden things around the areas that you might also miss. And I'm not going to tell you those, go and find out yourself. And yes, there's even more. You even have kind of like your own, I don't know whether it's a house or a hut or something, but it's yours. And basically here you can look at your inventory and swap the items in and out, your saws, bombs, things like that. And sort of like, you know, make sure that you've got what you actually want in the level for the style that you want to play at and with. And you can even craft your own weapons and potions, things like decent weapons and health potions and things like poisons and all. The game in general plays quite well and the controls are a tiny little bit fiddly when doing well some of the actual like moves you have to do some of the like combos like jumping up like twice running up the wall and then moving yourself down to land on a platform i found that incredibly difficult to do the game does have quite a decent tutorial which i would urge anyone to play before you well play I found the boss battles are okay and just needed you to work out the patterns to complete. Yes, I know there are bosses too. 
for the price I think this game kind of just keeps on giving there seems to be loads and loads of things to do here and even a like load of challenge levels to complete it will take hours and hours to actually do everything in this game especially if you add together those objectives and reruns of levels so that you can actually do those objectives properly but then I'm pretty sure for speedrunners you could probably whip through this game in a few hours and just use it in that regard to like speedrun everything, miss mostly everything else out and try to get the best run you can for well, speedrunning people. And speedrunning is great but this also screams at you to take your time, slow down and sort of like try and do these objectives, especially as some of them are like, you know, be stealthy, don't be seen, don't do this and all. And it just gives the whole game a completely different feeling to it. I do really wish that after activating a checkpoint and an enemy kills you and you respawn, you didn't respawn with the enemies like either on top of you, so you got no time to react or the enemies all around you so that you have to then try and run away or you die again in the exact same place right next to the actual checkpoint and this kind of like keeps happening but you have to like run away and try and like get your bearings before you can do anything it's quite annoying graphically though this is definitely a retro game and it's kind of lovingly put together the grass is beautiful, you can slash it apart, little bits of blades come up as you walk through it or sneak through it. There's shadows and also the amount of enemies is, oh, it's okay for the price. Slice kills are really good, slicing someone's head off, slicing them in half. Yet the animations are pretty decent and the cutscenes are those still ones that tell you the story underneath and you know what? That's all right as well. Sound wise, it's also pretty decent. It's okay as a whole and quite satisfying. And then it kind of like mixes it up when you've got like boss battles. Uh, take a listen. <laughs> the good, plenty of bang for your buck. This kind of, if you actually do everything, will last you quite a while. Uh, nice animations and lovely kills and loads to unlock. The bad. Those fiddly moments with the controls really did boil my gizzard and those respawn points really, really annoyed me. The score. Oh, Okay, so I rate games out of five, and basically I also determine whether they should go onto the Wall of Fame, or the Wall of Shame, or maybe somewhere in the middle, and I am so giving Within the Blade a four out of five. There is so much here for the price bracket, and I think if they priced it slightly higher at any point, it probably would have lost a point and you would have been looking at a three because of the problems that I mentioned before. But for the price, it is pretty decent. And as for my alternative, I'm going to be suggesting Mark of the Ninja, another platformer ninja type game, which does have like puzzle elements two and also stealth kills so yeah pretty similar but not if you get what i mean and with that hit that like and subscribe button if you want to be kept up to date also come and join us in our community discord we do streaming and all sorts there because life is better when we switch together